Hey everyone, it's Matt here from Ocean Driven Media. Just thought I'd give you a quick update as to what we've been up to lately. Our team ended off last year with some really cool projects. We traveled to Turkey in Istanbul. We covered an event there. At the event, we did photography, which was shared to social media same day. It was a conference event, so there was a lot of guest speakers that we had to shoot, as well as capturing the entire exhibition. See, if you walk around the conference venue behind me, it's like a massive venue, very cool to check out. I am shooting on the road in the gimbal for a bit. On the video side, we had one of us focusing on video interviews and testimonials. We also had our team running live to screen in the conference venue. So Cameron's in the keynote theatre, he's going to be here filming all the sessions. What's up Cam, say how's it? Hey, how's it? It's me Cam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We also created daily highlights videos of the event. These are shared across social media platforms and it really just wraps up each day what happened at the event. Back home we've been working with uh, the Bombay project for many years and they've recently rebranded to become the ReStory Foundation. We've been working with them for many years and this story is very close to our heart of what they do and we thoroughly enjoyed having the opportunity to create a brand launch video for them and share their new brand that has come about. Over 16 years of journeying together has seen lives restoried, bridges built and mindsets challenged. Through this process, we have discovered the power of enabling the most vulnerable to be courageous agents of change. If you want to find out more about the ReStory Foundation, we will have some more links below. It's one of the charities that we really love to be involved with. We've built great relationships with all the people there. And we really encourage you, if you want to get involved with something that really is transforming lives, check out the ReStory Foundation. We also had a few live streams at the end of last year, just to wrap up the year. I headed down to Cape Town for the Ultra Trail Cape Town. It's an amazing accomplishment for the runners who complete this 100 mile. Yes, you heard it. It's a 100 mile race. That's 160 kilometers. There's also runners who do a 100 kilometer race. It's not on the road. It's through the trails, through the mountains, over and above. And I worked with Alman from Pulse TV and we ran the back end of the broadcast. How's it done? Well, we had camera guys all around the course and the feeds came into us remotely. We then put together the broadcast. We had a commentary team. It was a really great event and we really were able to push some new technology in the remote broadcast space. And we're really looking forward to working on more projects like this coming up. Another project which was very similar was over in Dubai, the Burj to Burj half marathon. I worked with a team from Universal Broadcast and Pulse again, Armand and Greg. It was great working with the team. We're going to find the address, where are we going? It's one, one, uh, one, we're here. Uh, Palmeira 2, Villa, Ranch is 1, 1. Ribbon uh, Ranch is 1, 1, Palmeira 2. <laughs> it's going well so far. <laughs> Super well, we know exactly where we're going. So, first morning we went out and we shot some of the kiddies race, <laughs> uh, of the Burj Burj. Got the massive tower behind us, now we're going to head and set up for the rest of the broadcast for the day. Going to be good fun. Lots to do today, going to be exciting yeah. and we'll run you through a bit of the setup at the back end. Yeah, all, all, all good. Excited for today. This is the setup. We've got uh, this Mac running vMix on an Amazon web server. This Windows laptop running vMix on an Amazon web, web server. That's replays. This is our final mix. And then here we've got our Montard at work programming everything for Pulse, getting it all set up and sorted out. Um, there's the cameras with the encoders on top, so those are going to be encoding and sending us a signal along with a whole bunch of um, cameras from Pulse with tracking and maps. So we're going to get all that information so we'll know exactly where each camera is um, with the lead runners on the route with a live map. Greg's busy programming and replays over here and the vMix machines. We're now busy setting up our comms on Unity and that's the one vMix machine switching and this is the other vmix machine it was a super cool trip going to dubai working with greg and the universal broadcast team and our month from pulse in durban we've got a really cool office space with an awesome sea view we've set up a video and podcast studio it's designed mainly for interviews green screen video shoots and podcasts it's a very versatile space you can customize it move the furniture to make it your own 
We've acoustically treated it so that interviews and audio sound great because that's one of the most important things when doing a video interview is that the audio sounds great and it really does add a lot of value to your production if you want to do your interviews in a controlled setting. Back to where I'm currently sitting right now. This is our UK office in Norwich. So this is a natural step forward for Ocean Driven Media. We already have a lot of customers outside of South Africa. So we're looking forward to growing new opportunities there and we can't wait to see what this year has in store for us. What's next? Well, we've got a few projects on the go. We've got a event in Malaysia where we'll be doing photos, videos, and running a live to screen of a conference. If you want to keep up to date and check out some of our latest work, be sure to follow us on our social media pages. Here we always try to post a few behind the scenes stories and try to keep you up to date just with who we are and what we're up to. We're missing a tripod. I've done it. I've saved the day. Where did you find it? I was, and they made me go through customs. 